So in this tech tip, we're going to be taking a look at the last tech tips uh, demo that I gave you on Ableton's warping algorithms. And we're going to be testing it on the synths that we made in a prior to tech tip as well. So we'll be taking that base patches and basically resampling them and just kind of experimenting to see what we can make out of it. And then from there, I'll be just making a general simple pattern and we'll go through and process it. Now I'm gonna take these and I'm gonna duplicate it and turn them to audio. So now I can play around with it a bit more. And this is where I actually create a lot of my sounds is through turning things to audio and playing around with the different algorithms. So. That's kind of cool. So I consolidated it and then I'm going to pitch it back up on a different thing, a different algorithm. I wonder if I can make this any crazier. I'm just going to go in and do a little bit more processing. Oops.
my other effects at that I'm looking for? Frequency shifter. It's always a fun thing to play around with. Freeze that. Flatten. Throw it down an octave. <laughs> we throw it down again. I'm going to take this and throw it back up. And then I'm going to adjust this right here. Add a saturator. And a bit of erosion with that noise. Let's give it a bit more high end, and then I'm going to put another OTT and chop off the low end. And saturator. And limiter. And I'm going to cut this. Ow. <laughs> and where's the limiter? And if I really wanted to get creative with it, I could go in and honestly just put one of these serum effects on. And I could do any sort of thing such as down sample. Which kind of gives it a cool tone actually. And then maybe the combs. Now we've got a whole new lead just made from something that didn't sound like it was going to go anywhere. So I'm going to pull this. And I'm going to play around with these sounds real quick. And that sounds really cool. So I'm going to consolidate this. And just stretch it a bit. 
and complex. We can even take some of these and kind of give it a different groove too. Where's my fade? We're just gonna take this one and play around. Actually, that's probably just calling for a little bit of reverb. Bring it to life. So it's just, it's all about experimentation for me and that's how I get these like weird crazy sounds and I kind of hope this just like showed you or helped you or inspired you try out new ways of getting these crazy unique sounds. So yeah, in the next video, we'll be synthesizing the sub bass to go underneath all these. So we'll see you in that. Thanks everybody for watching, commenting, and indeed liking. We really do appreciate all the support we get here on our Sonic Academy YouTube channel. So if you find this video super useful, please We'd love you to hit the subscribe button. We update the uh, YouTube channel every week with new content. And if you want to watch some more relevant content, just click on the videos beside me.